Hi, this is Dave, WO2X. Uh, quick demonstration of DX Labs Commander and Spot Collector interface to Smart SDR 3.0. I have a Commander set up to talk to the radio using the SDR 6600 selection. That uses the uh, TCP API connection to the radio. Uh, frequency information from the radio is uh, sent to Commander and spots from spot collector are sent to commander and then from commander over to the radio and appear on the pan adapter. You can QSY by selecting and clicking on a spot, or you can go ahead and click on any of the uh, selections down here uh, in spot collector, and it will QSY uh, to that frequency and mode that's spotted. Um, one of the other things that's been reported is um, stuttering audio and laggy uh, response when there's sp uh, spots on the display. And you can see there's no breakup whatsoever. Uh, the pan adapter and the waterfall are working fine. Got some static crashes tonight, as you can see. Anyway, um, this again was just a quick demo. There are a couple of features that do not work. Uh, in Commander, you have a PTT transmit and receive button. Uh, it will put it into transmit, but not back to receive. And the, uh, I do not normally use that function, so I never noticed it before. The other functionality that does not work is the mute function in DX Labs, which again, I do not use. Uh, so for chasing DX, uh, clicking on the spots, having the spots show up in the pan adapter, uh, being able to select a spot and have the radio QSY by using the spot collector or by the spots on the display, uh, both work uh, perfectly fine. So um, there's um, nothing that I use it for that is not, you know, not working in version three. Uh, any questions, uh, you can respond to my thread in the community. So 7-3, this is Dave, WO2X, with this quick demonstration.